Hey, today it's a spatchcock chicken. And I don't know if you know what a spatchcock chicken is, but it's a chicken that its backbone has been removed and it and you can lay it out flat when you cook it. You can season both sides, it cooks in half the time, and it stays much more juicy than a whole chicken that you roast. So I'm gonna show you how to roast this on a sheet pan and how we're going to season it is very easy. Come on up. All right, I think Rick's getting hungry already. We're going to use three herbs. We're going to use rosemary, sage, and thyme. I'm going to chop these up into little pieces. No parsley, sage, <laughs> rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> no parsley today. We have enough going oh, on. Just with put these. it in for the song. <laughs> you can sing it anyway. All right, and the, and we're going to melt some butter first. Chop up the herbs and get ready to brush them on. I just want to tell you a little bit about this chicken. This is from Bell and Evans. Maybe you know that name from really good quality chicken tenders. I'll show you a picture. This is what we're used to eating for chicken tenders, but now they have a new product which is the spatchcock, bone removed, and boy is that a really nice shortcut. A lot of people don't like to cut the backbone out of the chicken. And yes, it's a little more expensive. This is super good meat because it's air cooled. It's not soaked in a bin of water while it starts to cool. And that means there's 12% less chlorinated water absorbed into this meat, so it'll be much more tasty. It's a nice company to buy your chicken from. Okay, this is sealed and washed, ready to go. So I'm gonna lay it out on the pan after I chop up the veggies and I'll show you how we brush it up. Okay, now I have the melted butter and the chopped up herbs. And we're just going to mix these in so that they can be brushed on the chicken. Mmm. Nice aromatics. Okay, I'm going to use a sheet pan that fits into my toaster oven. And I'm going to use the Go Wise pressure oven today. You can also just use a regular oven. But the chicken fits pretty nicely on here. So we're going to use a sheet of parchment paper. And I understand that these packages are made to peel open. Now this is the first one I had from Bell and Evans Spatchcock since it's a new item and the, the butcher told me about it. I'm going to pull out the chicken here. And we're going to lay it on the pan for the, the toaster oven. Now you can see it fits pretty nicely for the size of the chicken. This is a half sheet pan. And I'm going to take the herbs and butter that melted in the microwave. And we're going to paint this chicken. Now one of the nice things is that we can paint both sides. Where normally it would have been roasted with the cavity kind of untouchable. But let's just paint this side and we'll turn it over because this will add a lot of extra flavor. Okay, looking good. You don't usually get to see how nice and meaty the inside of the chicken is. <laughs> this is a nice chicken. And then we're going to paint the rest of this chicken with a nice butter and herb mixture. And all this nice butter is going to make the chicken nice and brown when we're done cooking it. I'm going to put this on for 30 minutes. at 375. Now this is the 
This is a sheet pan that comes with the oven, so it fits nicely right in the rack. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Close it up. Up here is the pressure valve. I'm going to put it on the seal setting so that the pressure stays in the oven. And then we're going to program it for pressure, top and bottom, burners. And we want to change the um, setting to 375 degrees. I'm going to give it 35 minutes to preheat because I haven't preheated the oven, but that'll take care of that and start. Okay, we'll check on it in a little while and make sure that it's cooking nicely. Mmm, it's going to be good. Okay, there's about 10 minutes to go on the cooking time that we originally set. So let's take a look inside the oven. Oh, look how nice that chicken is cooking. And it's starting to turn brown. Beautiful. Okay, we'll be back to check it in 10 minutes. So the steam has started to escape, which is the natural process of using the GoWise pressure oven. When it gets into the last few minutes, it allows the steam to escape so we can open the door. Look how beautiful that chicken looks. All right, the cooking time is finished. I think it looks great. We're going to take it out. All right, now that the pressure's out, all we do is open the door. Oh boy, does that look good. You can see it better now without any reflection. Let's get it out on the counter. All right, here we go. Wow, doesn't that look beautiful? Let's take the temperature here in the thickest part of the meat. It's easily going over 180, so it's perfectly done. We're going to let this rest. All right, we're going to put this on a serving tray to serve our dinner, but before you go, I'd like to show you how nice and juicy the meat is. So I'm just going to cut a piece out of the breast here. Boy, the skin is nice and crispy. And the chicken is beautiful. It's tender and juicy. Look how nicely it falls apart. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm, that's good. Look how juicy. And you can taste all the herbs in that meat. This spatchcock chicken is really something cool to try. The way it gets done so perfectly being opened up. So I hope you get a chance to try cooking your chicken in this manner because it allows it to get done so nicely without drying out and getting overdone. So give this a try. If you'd like to try the Bell and Evans spatchcock chicken, I recommend that. And you can grill this, you can bake it, you can pressure oven cook it, you can Cook it in your Ninja Foodi under pressure and then brown it. Mmm. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it gives you some ideas for cooking in your kitchen.